I'm just telling you the truth here. And we wonder why we have this order. Ephesians 5, 25 through 26 says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself to her. Christ never beat the church. Christ never talked down on the church. Christ never abused the church. Christ never treated the church like it did not matter. Christ didn't do that. So husbands, you can't do your wives like that. The word says to make her holy. If you're going to make someone holy, this is what Christ was doing to the church. He gave his all. He became submissive. He gave everything all the way to the end. He gave his life. Husbands, when you love your wife, when you want to put order back in the church, order back in the structure of things, you've got to give it all. How are you going to make your wife holy if you're not holy? Somebody. We got these unholy men trying to tell their wives what to do. I tell the unholy men, get yourself right before you try to influence your wife's life. Get yourself in God's life. Get yourself in God's word. Look what the word says. He is going to make her holy, cleansing her by washing her with water through the word. Come on, somebody. Right. Through the word. Men, if you're not in the word, stop trying to dominate your wife. Stop trying to lead your wife. Stop trying to exercise authority over your wife. You have no right to right. if you're not in God's word got these ungodly men trying to do ungodly things and all of a sudden when their wives start doing ungodly things, they start acting even more ungodly, getting mad, getting upset, getting mad at yourself. You should have been God's word influencing her, making her holy, cleansing her by washing her with the word. But they got uh, to get upset, get mad because their wives doing things they shouldn't be doing. Come on somebody. And a godly woman who submits to her husband, I'm talking to you now when who submits to a husband. And I want y'all to understand, I, I'm, I'm going to take you where, uh, somewhere with submission that you've never gone before. This ain't Star Trek. <laughs> a godly woman who submits to her husband as to the Lord. That's what a good marriage, a good relationship looks like. And we see that word in Ephesians 5.22. The word says, wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as you do to the Lord. How many of y'all bucking Jesus out there? Women, come on, somebody. Anybody out there saying, Jesus, I don't want to hear what you got to say today. Move along, Jesus. You can't tell me what to do. You can't direct my life. You can't give me any guidance. You can't give me any directions. Your word means nothing to me. But y'all say that to your husband. Some of the women out there tell the husband, you don't tell me anything. Your word means nothing to me. You have no authority over me. Come on, somebody. It happens. Y'all know it does. The only reason uh, God is asking you to submit because he knows what power you possess. Yeah, y'all come on now. God would not ask you to submit if you did not have some power. He would not ask you to submit if you did not have influence. So stop talking about, I need to prove myself. I want to become the best. I want to show a man that I can do just what they can do. God knows this. He wouldn't ask you to submit if he didn't know this. Stop trying to prove yourself and just do what God says do. God would not ask you to submit if he did not know you already had the power to influence men. We know that you have the power to influence men. Who are you going to show off to? The only person you're showing off to is Satan. When you go out there and upstage your husbands, upstage your men that are in your life, that are your fiancés. The only person that you're showing off to is Satan, and he's liking it. He's wanting you to say, go out there and embarrass your husband. Go out there and make them look like little boys. Go out there and make them feel inferior. Do a role reversal. I want you to wear the pants in the house. Tell him you don't need a man. Tell him you can do it all on your own. Tell him that you love being single. Tell him I can get my own mortgage. Tell him I can make my own money. Tell him I can go to a fertility clinic and get some in vitro fertilization. Tell him that they're creating sperm inside of the science lab now. I don't even need him for that. <laughs> Out of order. Out of order. Out of order. Satan wants you to be out of order. 